It's so funny. You're not gonna be embarrassed. I'm not embarrassed. <laughs> I'm just like talking to a camera and on a crowded street. I just want you guys to know that this is the most crowded street that I've ever filmed on in my life. It is so bright. We're struggling to see like where we're going. I can't. I can't. I'm happy to know that I made it into heaven. I know, right? I, we're walking into the light right now. How am I supposed to see the hot guys when they like come towards me? <laughs> we're gonna pass the shop. We need to see you guys. So I found like these hostel things from Oh, how exciting! Yeah, so we guys, have... we're gonna go see Blas Bastille. Blastille. Blastille. Bastille in Glasgow in next weekend yeah wow it's really close now and also i'm really excited but quite nervous about going to glasgow because everyone says it's like the rough city every time i talk to someone about glasgow it's about someone getting stabbed My or mugged and that's a bit scary but it should be fine right the modeling industry doesn't take fussy people I'm not part of a party. I'm the client. <laughs> I'm giving you the outfit to wear. You wear the outfit Where's or you go money? home. Where's the money? After you wear it. Oh, okay. You gotta sell, you gotta sell the belt. Okay, okay. How much, how much are you gonna pay for the belt? Huh? How much are you gonna pay for the belt then? It depends how, if you work it. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta work for your money. It's so boring. How about you show the camera? Mm -hmm. my, my catwalk? That's a model of the belt. I'm not gonna describe it. Now it's your turn, Wesley. I'm not doing that. <laughs> Come on, Wesley. Wesley. All together. Like, we'll be like. <laughs> we compliment each other well. Yeah. Our skin color, you know, is. Because <laughs> drinking is bad. It gives you acute pancreatitis. Ooh, mom, see? Mm -hmm. See, husband material. Mm -hmm. Good time. But you're going to marry him? Wesley. Mm -hmm. We have big ass kids. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> we'll have some Blasian babies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Just breaking everything. Your basil is fine, don't worry. Rowan bought basil. Okay. How do you feel about One Direction's new song, by the way, Live While We're Young? Because I love One Direction, and they've made some really good songs, but I just feel like, and I know they're a pop group, but this is just a bit too cheesy for me, this song. I'm just gonna put it out there. The thing was like bringing back cheese. Yeah, yeah that's what, but it was still good, you know? Like, that's what makes you beautiful. It was a good song. It was cheesy, but, you know, I was feeling it. But this one, Live While We're Young or whatever it's called, I don't know. It's just like, it feels like it's just this. Oh, I love this song. It's called Follow by Crystal Fighters. It's such a good song, and they're such a good group. You should check them, check, check them. You should check them out. Anyway, we're just making lasagna for dinner. Sorry, well. Well, kind of. How's it going over there, Ryan? It's, it all stuck together. Huh? This is what happens when you cook on a budget. Like, things happen, and it's fine. Oh, my hand hurts. This vlogging thing is hard. I feel so bad for you. I know, thanks. <laughs> Oh, I'm really glad I got that on camera <laughs> and I wasn't even trying and Wesley's just casually doing his exercises in the background This is what we do on a Friday night <laughs> Wesley, you're so cool I know, right? She did it It's new style you know what's a fun word to say in ladle? <laughs> ladle. Ladle. You know what's a fun word to say? Laden, which means loading in German. So I know that we have the cheese sauce, but I really like cheese. So if I put cheese in the middle, it's nothing to do. Oh, that's yeah. even better. Okay. I just want a lot of cheese, Ryan. Okay. That's cool. all I want. So I'm, I'm eating natural yogurt for the first time. Um, and it, it's the weirdest experience of my life because... Huh? I've never had natural yogurt just on its own, and it, I simultaneously hate it and love it. I'm just like, ugh, but then I just keep eating it because it's so good, but it's not. But it's, does anybody else get this with natural yogurt or with any other foods? I just took a nap.
This is like the best nap ever. I have actually have no idea what I actually look like. I assume it's not good, but whatever. I just ate a Freddo. Got to the conclusion that I really don't like caramel full chocolate. Just so you guys know, if you ever decide to buy me chocolate, I like fruit and nut, and I like milk chocolate. You can probably do like up to about 80% dark chocolate. Twirls, I like twirls. Crunchies, I love crunchies. Bounties, I'm a fan. This might sound like I eat a lot of chocolate, but like, actual truth, I hardly eat any chocolate. Oh, I like Maltesers. Ooh, and minstrels. Cadbury fruit and nut is the way to go. Glad you're all here to celebrate Grand Series 21st. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, and I hope you like the playlist that I made with great, great work. I'm getting redder and redder. I'm not going to cry for him. <laughs> Nothing but the best for you. Well, we all had a great night. Thanks for all being here, and Grant, I'm sure, would like to take over. This is like a wedding. What is going on? that's been bugging me for a while and um, I've wanted to make a video about it for a while but <laughs> you know how it is I will get around to making that video yeah she just had some really good points in there ladies why do we hate each other so much everywhere I turn there are girls just spewing passive aggressive comments or direct insults at other girls and other women I'm not, I'm not trying to be self-righteous here I in the past have said some terrible things about other women like especially you know when you become a teenager and stuff and you and you think it's okay to to slut shame and but I think part of growing up is knowing where you're going wrong and knowing when to stop yourself I don't want to spend my life hating on other women for no reason and that's the key there for no good reason you know unnecessarily if someone's done something to offend you or you really don't like someone because they're a horrible person by all means, go ahead and voice your thoughts and feelings, okay? But when you sit there and just rip other women to shreds, especially on public forums, on Facebook and on Twitter and on Instagram, and you're just there just talking absolute crap just for the sake of it, it just makes me cringe. It's not right. I'm trying to voice my opinion here without hating on those girls who do it, you know, because then I'm just carrying on the cycle. You know, take a look at your own life. If your life is perfect and you never do anything wrong, then by all means, please go ahead and call everybody out, else out on it. But chances are, your life is probably a mess. And it's even worse when they're being hypocritical, when they're calling other women out for doing things that they do themselves. I'm trying to become a less judgmental person, a less, you know, a more accepting person. I love the diversity of the human race and I love the diversity amongst women, which I will go into more detail about in my video. Anyway, gotta go for dinner now. See you guys, I have friends.